additional water from Lake Mendota is expected to affect Lake Monona as well. Our Madeline O'Neill is live in Monona now. Maddie? Eric City and county workers, along with volunteers, have been hard at work here at Oneida Park since about 8 this morning, working to fill sandbags to help residents protect their homes from potential flooding. Now, it's sunny out right now, but as we know, rain is in the forecast, and an expected a 3-inch rise in Lake Monona just near here is expected after Lake Mendota is having additional waters released. Uh, county workers, city workers, prison inmates are here volunteering and working together today to help businesses and homeowners. Well, it's really a race against time to protect the homes of Monona from the rising level of the lake. And so having a lot of uh, a lot of hands make light work, uh, we're filling thousands of sandbags per hour uh, to try to help out our, our neighbors. Volunteers were here yesterday as well, sandbagging until about 9 at night. And they say they'll be here as long as it takes this evening as well. And now the city is providing sandbagging materials at three other locations in Monona. Again, we're here at Oneida Park, one of the four locations. They're also asking for more volunteers. They, they say the more hands on deck, the better. Eric. And Maddie, those other locations are on the city of Monona's website, which is mymonona.com, Interlake Drive, parking lot at Winnequa Road and Healy Lane, as well as the River Place cul-de-sac. People living in those low-lying areas, those flood-prone areas, should be prepared to protect their property from water. The city offering free sand and ready-to-fill sandbags at locations. This throughout the City of Madison. Just visit the City of Madison website. That's cityofmadison.com for more information. Remember to report any of your property damage to the United Way's 211 line. The